Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to do July's Shop My Stash where I go through my makeup. I've already cleaned out all the old makeup. Well, most of it. I'm keeping some of it. And then I went through all my drawers over here and picked out the makeup that I want to use for July. All the stuff, all the eyeshadow palettes everything that you can think of well all categories you can think of that is where yeah i'm gonna show you what i picked out for this month i thought about it and thought about taking y'all over to my drawers and picking it out showing y'all <coughs> the area and holding my camera and pick it up but my hands are just so very shaky it would be <coughs> awkward and just not fun to watch and things like that so I just thought I would just go ahead and pick up my stuff and then just show it to you so it would just be less awkward for all of us so I am just going to show you what I picked out so things so if you're interested in seeing what I picked out for the month of July then hang tight because we're about to see all the stuff what? Okay, let's start off with face products and eye products, but I'll save the I will save the eyeshadow palettes for last. First, let me tell you the stuff that I am that I did not rotate out. I am not rotating out my eyeliner pencils, my lip liner pencils, um, my eyebrow stuff, my concealers my primers obviously not my brushes and a couple of other things some things i kept as far as foundation goes i kept my sunny days tower 28 foundation out because i'm almost out of it i kept this bare minerals mini complexion rescue just because it's a mini and i'm going to go through it i kept one more I kept this out as well and it is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I just got this and it's what I'm wearing on my face today. I just wanted to keep one skin tint out. So that is what I'm keeping out. I kept out a cup, a few mascaras. I kept out because I just opened this. It is the Waterproof Superhero It mascara the bad gal bang from benefit and the kosas the big clean so i just kept those out although i have a lot of mini mascaras things are going to fall over that is just a given today and yeah they're going to fall over a lot and there goes everything okay I'll be right back. This is okay, a couple of lip products I kept out. This that I just got in my Slay Glam box. It is like a pH gloss where you put it on and it changes to your pH. My pH is obviously hot pink. So, and I also left out this lip stain from Fenty Beauty. And because I thought it was fun, I just wanted to keep it out. Four blushes or uh, let's say for bronzers, I kept out this mini milk one because I am still trying to get to the end of it. It is lasting me forever. Uh, blushes, I am keeping out the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in Barely Blushing. I just got this and I wanted to keep it out. And the Ocalon 3D Glow Highlighter, which I am using as a blush topper. Also, I'm using a cream blush. This I got as my birthday present from Sephora. It is the Ilia Cream Blush in the shade At Last. So I just wanted to keep those out. For powder, I'm keeping this out. I got it in an ice cream beauty box. It is the banana setting powder because I like it so much. I wanted to keep that out. And what the things I always keep out, I finally put away the Jeffree Star highlighting powder palette, but I'm keeping the Moira Alluring Glow highlighter palette. I'm always keeping this out because it's broken, and but it's also one of my favorites, which is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator Diamond Dusk 
I'm never going to memorize that. <laughs> but I also, I always keep this out because it's always handy. It always has a blush that I need if I can't find a blush. And it is the Moira Ooh La La Blooming Series Palette. And I also keep out my Pat McGrath blushes as well. And it has a highlighter in it. So if I can't find any other blushes, I can always find them in these two palettes. Same goes with highlighter, with that single that gelato one and this alluring glow one. So, okay, now that's over, let's get into the products I actually picked up. Okay, I think I have these in a relatively good, good order. I picked out three foundations this month. I picked out the ABH Luminous Foundation. I think this is this is in 120 Warm, which I may or may not have to add those whitening drops to it. We will just have to see as we go along. So I will add that over there. I haven't gotten very far through it. I feel like I've used it a lot. This is in my project pan as well and I still haven't finished it. I'm hoping to finish it this month. It's the Pure Lease Ageless Glow BB Serum Cream SPF 40. I've had this quite a while. I really need to get through it. And I got the Juvia's Place, the I Am Magic. It is the Natural Radiance Foundation. This is a fairly new one to the market. I really enjoy it, so that's one I'm probably going to use quite a bit. Okay, since they are out here, want to be seen, and I used one already on my face today. These are the setting sprays I picked out. One is the Matte Prep and Prime Fix It and spray, so I really want to use that one. And I got out a dewy one. This is the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray so i wanted to use this one because the next one is not i mean the mac one is really nice as a setting spray as an all day spray, as, uh, setting spray <laughs> but um i really wanted this dewy finish one from next out so what else i have mascaras next up here I've got a lot of mascaras. I kept a lot of mascaras and I picked out a lot of mascaras. So the first one I picked out was the other Ilia one I had. I had an Ilia one out here that was part of my birthday present from Sephora, but I ended up picking out the other one, which is the fullest, which is the volumizing one. So I picked out that one where the, it looks more like an hourglass one. So I got that one. I pulled out the Lights Camera Lashes one from Tarte. Everybody likes this one, but I, I don't know. I'll have to give it some more chances. I've been stacking my mascaras lately. So we will have to see if I can stack this with another one to make it look really good. One, another one, I think this is new. I think this is new, let's open it and see. This is the Urban Decay Perversion one. So I'll have to try that out and see how I like it. So that one goes in there. I brought out my Lash Princess one, mainly to try to use it up because it's getting kind of old. And then I've got my magic extension from what, MAC. Okay, I really like this one. And maybe I can try stacking that Lights Camera Lashes with this, with this CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Fibers one. Maybe I can try those two together and see how it works out. So those are the mascaras that I picked up. Okay, as for powders, I picked four powders. Okay, I don't know why I picked that many. Because I already have one sitting out here. One pressed powder. This is the only pressed powder I picked. That's funny that I only picked out one. It is the Moira Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder in the shade 100. I do know that I really like this powder. Okay, and then I... I've got two that I really want to get through. 
One is my Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder, which I want to get rid of this and then never buy it again because I I just found so many. I used to use this all the time, but I found so many that I liked since then. Same with this Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter one. They're both really nice, but there's just so many I like better. And I used the Well People one today, which is a white one, which is a truly translucent one. It has no pigment to it at all. And that one really looks nice today. I just used it to set under my eyes and or just to use my, my on my T-zone. And it really, really worked well with this foundation, with the skin tint here. I got to remember that combination because I am really loving it. So those are the four powders that I picked out. Don't know if I'm going to make a dent in any of them since I've got so many of them. Okay, uh, I really want to save the lips for last. So, let's pull out bronzers. Okay, uh, I picked out a lot of bronzers too. <laughs> First one I brought out that I don't bring out a lot is this Charlotte Tillsbury Film Star Bronze and Glue that I got in a mystery box one Christmas and this is the bronzer here and this is just a highlighter although I think it's a little too dark of like an under eye highlighter for me but I don't know I don't yeah it's just a powder highlighter it's not like a I mean it's like an under it's like a highlighter that you put under your eyes and right here and stuff it's not a glowy highlighter so I'll definitely be using this part of it. And I got three cream bronzers because I'm really into cream bronzer. Wait, this isn't a bronzer. I got two bronzers. Okay, I got only three bronzers. The other thing was this, a blush. Okay, I brought out the Moira Stay Golden Cream Bronzer, which looks like this. I like it because it's a little lighter than some of my other bronzers. So I got that. And it, it's in the shade Stay Golden. Okay. And then I brought out my ABH one, which is in, it's called the Creamy Bronzer in the shade Amber, which I also like the shade of that one. So, yeah, those are the bronzers plus the Milk Bronzer, which I will put over here. Let's talk about blushes. Okay, I think these are all the blushes. If I find, no, yeah. Okay, this is these are blush highlighters. We will talk about those next. Okay, blushes. I brought out my Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. I don't think it's a blurring blush. And it is in the shade Watermelon Rain. It is a very cool toned blush and it only takes Okay, come on, open that. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't really, I really love this compact, but it's hard to open it. It's a very cool toned color, and it only takes a little bit. You only need a little bit, but it is very pretty, pretty color. And then, this is what I thought was my putty bronzer, but it's my putty, my putty blush. I. I always have trouble saying blush. I don't know what it is. The shade is Turks and Caicos, I think. I'll just go with that. That's the color name. It's written really small on the side here, and I just and it's written in white on this clear plastic, so I can't I can hardly read it. So, but that is the shade of that. Is this the same shade? I got my item cream blush too. No, it's definitely different, but it's not as dark as the watermelon ring. So I got out my item one as well, and it is called bl Blushing Like. This is Blushing Light, Blushing li Blushing Like Blush, and it's in the shade Oopsie. And that's another really cool color. And I want I needed some warm colors, 
I need a warm color, so I cut my orange blush out because it's summertime and we love a nice orange blush to make us look a little sun-kissed. So this is the Benefit blush in Butterfly. And it is a little glowy as well. So we love that. And then blush and highlighter palettes. I got my Charlotte Tilbury um, face palette. It's called, I hate saying it, it's called Nude Gasm. She has the stupidest names. Okay. And this is what it looks like. These two are both highlighters, but sometimes I like to use this as a glowy blush. And they have names super glow and multi glow i think or this is multi glow and this is this is multi glow and this is super glow i don't know but there's bronzers and contours in it as well i can always use those so this is the face palette that i brought out i'm gonna put it over here with the other blushes and then i got my natasha denona cupid cheek duo it has a cream lush oh no i started swatching Oh no. And a nice highlighter. I love this little duo here. I love this blush. It is really cute. So I got this. And yeah. Then let's move on to highlighters. I got out another highlighter palette. It's from Ace Beauté. It is their Ace Beauté Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette. And it looks like this. They are absolutely wonderful highlighters. And yeah. I will use just about every one of them, except maybe this one. But, uh, I don't know. I have dipped in, it looks like I've dipped into this one for an inner corner highlight as well. Or a brow bone highlight. So, yeah. Looks like I will be using that this month. Okay, one more highlighter I picked out was the House Labs one that I absolutely love. It is in the shade Pete's peach quartz it is my only peach highlighter that i have and it is very very lovely so i will put that over here oh i've got one more highlighter it is from alamar and it's called la arena that's a nice little gold highlighter very pretty so we have that one as well so i have lots of highlighters to choose from okay Let's get into single shadows. I only pulled out two. I pulled out my ColourPop one in, it's a Super Shock, and it's in Cosmic Charge. It's like a little taupe one. I've already hit pan. Oh, yeah. oh, it wants to escape. No, 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 you have to stay. <laughs> so I've got that, put that over there, and I got out my Hourglass. The Hourglass Scattered Light in Aura. I think this one is very beautiful. So those are two single shadows. Okay. Oh, and I got this this here too. It's from Nude Sticks. It, it looks like this. Uh, I don't think I know the color on it. Oh, it's called Nudity. Yeah. Okay, let's finally move on to lips. One, no, we cannot move on to lips because I have one more freaking highlighter. Uh, it's summertime, so I guess I really want to use highlighters. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Cream Highlighter in the shade Bubbly. Okay, I, I looked in here and I thought this was a lipstick, apparently. Apparently, so... Okay, another cream shadow. I am so sorry. This is from Jeffree Star. This is the Liquid Star Shadow. And this is in the color... I don't know. I can't read it. It's probably something... Probably something... Um, dirty. <laughs> okay, let me look here, okay? I can't be 100%, but I think the rest are lip products. Okay. First, I brought out a Jeffree Star one. It is this, okay. This is what I'm talking about, okay? This is what I'm talking about when it comes to him naming stuff. And I, I guess I'll show you what it looks like. This is that, and this is the color. It is a very specific color for a very specific look. So I might use it in 
either collabs or live streams when I'm making interesting looks. What I'm wearing today is the Tower 28 in the color almond. And I've got that. I've got a maracuja juicy lip. I brought out my Gucci one in, in again. I don't know. I don't remember what the shade is, but I bring this out when I want to make like simple looks with a bold lip. So that's why I brought out that one. I brought out my Moira lip oil. I brought out an e.l.f. comfort lip. That's what it looks like. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I thought I was going to make a lot of fancy looks this month. I don't know. I brought out my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk uh, lip gloss, too. So, I don't know what I'm going to be up to this month, exactly. Okay, I brought out a, just a tint from ColourPop. Nice, bright color there. I brought out my Urban Decay vice lipstick it is that's in a very mauvey neutral kind of color this is just a sample this is just a deluxe sample size i brought out my uma beauty um this is the a badass does not truly does not talk about being a badass it's a very neutral color it's not a very badass color so i got that out oh Okay, I'll talk about that in a minute. I got out this color, which I thought was an orange color. And I don't know what the name of this company is. I, it's just something I got in like an Ipsy or something like that. And it is, it is just a sample. It's just called number 17. And then I got out my full Ritual lip gloss, which is in a nice kind of neutral color. So those are all the things, all the lip products. Why did I get one more highlight? I wanted to try this out some more. It is the Halo Glow Beauty Wand Highlight in the color mm -mm -mm. Rose Quartz. I got a Peach Quartz and a Rose Quartz. Tell me, remind me to use all my freaking highlights this month, okay? All right. Okay, let's talk about hot. Let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. Because I got a lot of them. Okay, the first one I brought out was pro is probably one of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes. It is the Natasha Mini Bronze palette. Gonna be using that one. Definitely gonna be using that one. The, what I have on my eyes today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Primrose palette. I am using this color, this color, this color, and this color, and these two shimmers right here. I also have some of this blush on my cheeks today. So that's what I've got going on today. I'm just putting them in my little holder over there. This I brought out for a use it or lose it. This is the Aether Beauty Desert Sunset Palette. Uh, I just don't know if I really want to keep this or not. That's why I brought it out. So we are going to have fun with that one. This one, I thought it's summertime, I should bring it out. This is the Artist Couture Caliente palette. Really like it, so I thought, well, oh, let's make some cool, fiery looks with it. So that's why I brought that one out. Brought out my Wild Nothing palette, just for, to have a neutral palette for maybe on days I'm not filming or something and I'm going out and just need to throw on a look. So that's why I brought that one out. Brought out this one because when I was doing my palette collection, I was like, oh, I need to have this. I need to I need to wear this palette. So that's what made me pull this palette was because I was just taken aback by that palette. This is well, this Sahara palette by Alter Ego. I was in the middle of doing my palette collection and I was like, I, I don't think I've even worn this one. So I decided to throw it in to my shop, my stash. Okay, a new palette that I just got is the Wild Greens palette by Urban Decay. 
I got this out to try it out. I think I'm going to use it today in a live stream that I'm doing. So we're going to be doing a live stream today. This is Monday. And we're going to be doing it on the C's channel. So it's going to be at 3 o'clock central time. So be sure to go ahead and check her out on her channel, the C. And check us out. It'll be me, C, and Life with Christine. Okay. Recent birthday present I got from... Gloria from Makeup and More with Gloria P is this Smoking Hot Palette from ColourPop. Definitely want to be making more looks with this. We might be doing a collab soon where we are using this. So definitely wanted to bring that one out. Was talking about my Natasha Denona Retro Palette in my palette collab and I thought my palette collab, my palette collection and decided, hey, um, I would like to use this one again. So, yeah, so I decided to bring that one out as well. Okay. A palette that I pulled for Palette Roulette Day, but then we didn't end up doing it that day, was the Michaela Palette Part 2 Palette, the Tin Pan Palette. I pulled that one and then I thought, well, I would really like to use that palette. So let's go ahead and pull it for this month. Shot my stash. So I went ahead and pulled it for this one. Another palette that when you go through your palette collection, when you go through your all your palettes, you see some of your palettes and you're like, oh, I just can't wait to wear that one. That's how I felt with this one as well. So this is the Hella palette by Odin's Eye. And after I used the Alva palette, I was like, I need it. I need more Odin's Eye. I really want to wear more Odin's Eye. So I pulled this one out. Okay, then I have the Urban Decay Naked palette. I'm just really into these, these warm tones, I think, this month because I'm pulling a lot of palettes with warm tones in them. So yeah, that's why, that's why I pulled the Urban Decay Heat. And these two palettes I pulled together, the Brittany Murillo and the All I Ever Wanted by Unearthly Cosmetics. This is just a palette of duo and multi-chromes and some of them are just shimmers as well. So this is an all shimmer palette. And then my favorite palette to use when I'm doing those kind of looks with the multi-chromes and the duo chromes is using this palette for purples, brown looks, pink looks, things of that nature. So I usually use it with my Man I Love Frogs palette, but I didn't feel like pick, pulling that one out for some reason. So... I pulled the Unearthly Cosmetics one instead. Two more palettes. I brought the Zodiac one out just to make some fun looks, some Instagram looks, some um, TikTok looks, what have you, live stream looks. So I thought I'd bring out this one and have some fun with it. Did I say it was a BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette? No, this is the last palette. Okay, so those are all the palettes that I pulled for the other palettes or something else. These are all the palettes I pulled for Shop My Stash. Okay, so that is everything that I pulled for the month of July. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you have any of these products? What do you think of them? Do you think I have too many highlighters? <laughs> I don't know if I'm even going to get through all of these highlighters. Oh my gosh. I don't have a problem getting through palettes because I do a lot of I do do a lot of things using lots of palettes, but sometimes I'll get stuck on using one highlighter. Or sometimes I won't even put on highlighter at all. So let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Anything to engage with this video would really help me um, out 
really a lot with my analytics but just you watching to this point in the video really helps out as well thank you so much for watching if you are a subscriber thank you so much as well i'm trying to get to 1k i'm trying to get my watch hours up everything like that if you are new here and you like what you see please consider subscribing hitting that notification bell setting it to all so that you're notified every time that i upload a new video so i hope y'all are all having a wonderful a fantastic amazing day out there today if you're having an especially hard time know that I am thinking about you I'm sending you out all of those good vibes just remember to stay strong stay healthy and stay safe out there and I will see you in another video soon well I'll see you hopefully see you on the live stream today and just stay well until then okay goodbye